Okay, so if you've been paying attention to my reels or YouTube shorts, you might have seen me wearing this before. This is the new Patagonia Nano Air Light Vest. Um, it's actually a piece that I was really stoked about to hear that it was kind of making a return. You know, Patagonia released last season the Nano Air Light Hybrid hoodie and jacket. And I was really happy to see that because I own the old version of the Nano Air Light pullover. And that became kind of one of my staple pieces just because, you know, it's not too much insulation so you don't get too warm. So to hear that they came back with this vest, it's awesome. And I haven't actually been able to use it for a while and it's by far one of my favorite pieces from this new release for Fall 23. Um, so with that being said, I think it'd be helpful to kind of go over some things about this piece and whether that be size and features and everything else. So with that being said, let's just kind of dive right into it. Um, so the first thing I will say, this piece is a slim fit and I size it in a medium. Uh, basically if you're, I mean, if you're new around here, I size all my stuff with Patagonia with medium and a medium. Everything generally fits me well with a medium, whether it be regular fit, whether it be slim fit, whether it be relaxed fit, you know, mediums just work well with me. And this is no exception to it. This is works the best, you know, it's a slim fit that's kind of changed, you know, previous versions of Patagonia slim fit. Sometimes people had problems, whether it be like tightness in the chest or when they had to go to move. I know like the, uh, the R1 full zip, whether it be, well, actually, no, it's not just even the full zip. It's the quarter zip, it's the crew neck and the full zip, uh, hoodie. They all are too tight for me in the chest. And that's like the one exception to my size medium slim fit. Like that one just doesn't work for me. Whereas this piece, it fits perfectly. You know, it kind of fits like my Nano Air Light hybrid hoodie, which makes sense. You know, it is a Nano Air Light hybrid, or right? this is another Nano Air Light. So, but I feel like with that piece, Patagonia kind of redesigned their slim fit and it's a little bit more roomier while still being cut where you don't have all this excess material. So that's super nice with this. And like I said, you know, this piece really fits me well and I think it'll fit a lot of people well. You know, it's not too, it's not too generous of a fit, but it's not too tight of a fit either. So yeah, fit on this is amazing. Um, let's kind of move on to the material of the Nano Air Light vest. Um, the material is not something that's new per se. It's it's new for this, and it's even new for the Nano Air hoodie. But that's the thing is it now shares the same fabric as the Nano Air hoodie. Um, it's also the same fabric that's on the Nano Air Light hybrid hoodie and jacket. Um, that was actually the first piece that kind of pioneer with this new fabric, and it's something that's really cool. Um, so getting into the specs, it's a 1.6 ounce, 30 denier, 100% recycled polyester, air permeable, PFC free DWR, shadow stretch shell. You know that's a lot, and there's a lot into that, there's a lot with those names. Um, basically what you need to know, it's a kind of stretchy shell that has like movement mirroring capabilities. It's got a PFC free DWR, which is always great because you know, it doesn't put all that other forever chemical junk in the environment, so having that is great to see for the environment and for sustain, uh, sustainability. 100% recycled polyester. That's not something that's new. Exactly, I think any, every single previous version of the Nano Air was polyester. I scratched that. The old version of the Nano Air light, and I think even the old Nano Air were nylon. So anyways, but for the last couple of years, the Nano Air has been recycled polyester. Um, but the new kind of thing is the 30 denier which is interesting because previous versions of the NanoWear haven't really had a actual number to the fabric. Um, so it's kind of different now where you have 30 denier, but what's also really different about this fabric too is that it's actually got a grid and it looks like nylon ripstop or polyester ripstop, which it probably is. Um, and that's actually pretty interesting because now I'm overall curious on to the durability of it. Um, from Patagonia, they said that they were having more faith in this and that it'd be more durable um, but what they kind of saw is that this was a new type of shell that was more protective overall more durable while also still being more breathable um, and in ways it almost feels like it's heavier duty but i think if i'm correct that the shell is actually it might be a little bit lighter it could be a little bit heavier but i'm pretty sure it's a little bit lighter 
um, but it, it just creates a new dynamic for this shell because I think for for previous versions of the nanoware shell has kind of been an area where it's kind of been interesting you know it's just kind of that jacket where you have a breathable jacket um, when you go, have a very windy situation wind just kind of rips through whereas even with this vest and I've been really surprised with this vest more so than the other pieces because I've been in some windy places right as of recently and you know I don't feel the wind cut straight through me which is super great in terms of protection um, but what's also really nice with this is that it's still just as breathable as previous versions so you know having it just breathe really easily and so I can dump heat is awesome so the shell on this is another great shell I'm really curious to see overall its durability so that's the uh, material and shell so let's kind of go on to some of the specs and features of the jacket we do have a single chest pocket and we have 40 grams of breathable insulation you know this is not new for the the light side of the nano air it's pretty standard um, it does have a more lower bulk design to the um, to the piece which is pretty nice because you know it's not too bulky and it's pretty streamlined kind of goes into it being a slim fit um, it's also cut from movement so there's no really pressure points or anything where it's tight so that's really awesome to see and then you get the uh, two hand pockets which is awesome as well you know they're kind of roomy I think they sit right above the waist belt and I'm pretty sure that this um, piece can also stuff into its own chest pocket um, but that kind of really does it for the specs this is kind of more of a bare bones piece in reality um, but I think it's fine because I think having such a bare bones piece really highlights what it what it can do and this is like a piece where you kind of put it on and you just forget about it I mean as you've been able to see with some of the Instagram reels and uh, YouTube shorts it's like I've been able to wear this while climbing the place and climbing that place at the angle it's sometimes pretty intense and being able to not get overly warm in it and just wear this piece it's awesome um, and I'm actually really really excited to use it for this upcoming cl uh, ice climbing season just for its layering capabilities um, I've been loving this layering system of layering with a vest and then like Kathleen air underneath I think it's going to be a great combination I think I'm going to be plenty warm but it's also going to breathe extremely well so I'm really excited for this upcoming ice climbing season to be able to layer with this and uh, I, I kind of think on that note that's where I'm going to kind of end it um, if you have any questions about this piece feel free to leave a comment I'll try to get to it as soon as possible because um, I do have the most time in this piece out of all the other kind of new pieces well with an exception of course um, but yeah so if you have any questions about this feel free to leave a comment and uh, yeah if I come up on anything new about this jacket or you know if I get more time in it I'll be sure to leave another review on it so with that being said thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one